Beside the Gregorian calendar, people of various cultures have their own New Year. But do we have a Syrian New Year? Yes, we do. And this is not an April's full day. The oldest recorded festival in the history of the Near East continues its celebration as a living evidence of the advent of spring and fertility. Syrians since antiquity divided the year into chapters and practiced rituals derived from their agricultural activities and their association with nature and their land. The weddings of the Babylonians followed by the Assyrians used to begin in parallel with New Year's ceremony that starts on April 1st and last for the whole following 12 days. The old Syrian calendar, Akito, has been used by Assyrians and Syriac. Today marks the beginning of the year 6769 thereof. The Syrian calendar precedes the pharaonic calendar of Tusea for more than 500 years and is associated with the end of the rainy season, the beginning of fertility and the growth of planting and fruits. The celebration of this feast dates back to the first Babylonian dynasty to the beginning of the second millennium before Christianity and it is the oldest recorded festival in the history of the Near East, indicating that the word Akito is linguistically referring to the time of sowing and harvesting of barley and in Somarian means Akiti Sonunum which is the New Year's Day for Akkadians, Babylonians, Assyrians, and Chaldeans. Akito's holiday is an expression of cult of an agricultural nature with an oriental people possessed of a unique spiritual debt in which they took a leading place in ancient history and contributed to laying the foundations of human civilization. So it is not an April Fool's Day, it is a new year for all Syrians.